Hello darling viewers, it's Jen here at Check Her Joy, and this time I'm reviewing The Peacemaker by James Swallow. This is a new series adventure Doctor Who novel. It features the 10th Doctor and Martha Jones. This is totally a western and it was actually really fun even though I'm not really a western kind of person. So this book totally surprised me and I appreciated that. So the setting of this book is um, the 1880s I think in a like prairie town kind of setting out on the frontier. We have this like snake oil type salesman. So one of these like sleazy little con guys who are always trying to sell these magical cures for everything that don't really work. Except somehow this guy has a cure for smallpox. Like not only has a cure for smallpox, but like it cures it instantly. Um, that is totally not a thing in that time period. It's not even a thing now. Like, we have vaccinations and cures for smallpox, but we can't cure it instantly. This is like curing it completely. There are no pock marks on their faces. You can't even tell anybody had smallpox. Like, it's crazy. Um, so something really strange is going on here. There are also two mysterious writers who are chasing this supposed healer. And they really want to find him, and they are really dangerous, and they are not afraid to kill and take people out and just completely destroy everything in their path. So, yeah, stakes are pretty high in this. In this book, I really appreciated the fact that Martha Jones is a doctor in training. In fact, it's something that I kind of forget about. I'm like, oh yeah, Martha's awesome, but I kind of forget that she's studying to be a doctor. And in this book, we really see that, especially when she's paired with, you know, the alien Doctor Who. Um, and one of them definitely has more medical training than the other, um, which I appreciated about this book. And Martha definitely gets to um, step up, use her medical school, medical skills and save some lives, which was cool. Um, I also really liked the small town that they originally land in and like the the people in it. Like, they encounter this school teacher named Jenny, and she's smart and clever, and like, I would totally want to hang out with her. And <laughs> there's this one pupil of hers who's like 18, and he's helping with the younger kids. And I loved him as a character, and how he's um, trying to help out, but at the same time, he's still kind of a kid, but also still kind of an adult. And even like the stereotypical characters in this book, like the tough town sheriff and the drunk gamblers in the bar and everything, like they grew on me and I liked them and they had plenty of depth and made this world really interesting um, instead of just being regular stereotypes, which I appreciated. And we definitely get to see the doctor um, seeing people for what they are and giving people chances and people taking on different roles and really surprising themselves, which I love about the Doctor and the way he can do that. I also appreciated the reference to the Peacemaker, which is a type of old western gun, and how the Doctor reconciles like this old west town with like firing guns and shoot first with his desire to not use guns and kind of not resort to violence until it's like the last resort. So we definitely get to see the Doctor and Martha shine in this, and really feels like them and really fleshes out their characters and I love that about this. Like this is a really good Doctor Who novel. There is quite a bit of sci-fi techno babble in this book. Sometimes the Doctor's going off and nobody knows what he's talking about. Um, but also it's Doctor Who so I've kind of gotten used to shrugging that off. Um, and it's also not techno babble that you need to know. It's literally the Doctor's just randomly talking gibberish basically. Ooh, there are plenty of continuity references in this book which I really loved. Like they talk about the Time War and there are references to Rose and Bad Wolf and they even use the phrase Travelers in the Fourth Dimension which plays back to I think the first Doctor. Um, we get to see mentions of H.G. Wells's The Time Machine in this, in this book which I loved. Um, so plenty of geeky continuity references, which I adored. There are aliens in this. It's kind of, I mean, probably not a surprise that the small pox cure that doesn't exist now has some alien origins to it. Um, and the alien race that is introduced in this, the clades, are really creepy and also interesting. And I enjoyed finding out more about them and they, they scared me. Like, I would definitely not want to... Uh, be introduced to them and they were, they're an excellent addition to Doctor Who 
and like I would love to see them on screen like that would be so cool this entire book feels like it could just be a television episode like it just works there were a couple of downsides to this book for instance sometimes the dialogue of the old western characters felt really contrived and trying too hard and it's a bit weird to be like oh something's awry and I'm like why why are they talking like that that's not something that really happens in Doctor Who like we don't go visit Shakespeare and everybody's talking in Elizabethan English so it just it felt weird and just too much there is also a Pawnee Indian in here so Native American and he's just an absolute stereotype of the noble savage. Um, so I was excited to see a Native American character, but also not really appreciating the way that he is portrayed in this. Wasn't that great. We don't see him very much. He's literally just the stand-in stereotype who's just tagging along with the white guys. So not the best. There is a story that the, uh, the Pawnee Indian talks about. Um, the doctor visiting his tribe before and the story of brother of coyote who defeated the bad wolf and I really want to know what the doctor did and what the bad wolf was like I want to know that story like you can't just mention it and not tell us why I definitely got into this book and I enjoyed it 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 grew on me it started off as a pretty solid three star read but by the end I was like no this is four stars this is Maybe not like my most favorite Doctor Who novel, but is definitely one of my favorites. So I appreciate it. I would definitely recommend it if you love Doctor Who or you love Westerns. We also do get, ooh, we also do get at the beginning of this book, um, Alien Planet. The Doctor tries to take Martha to this planet, Hollywood, which is this planet that just shows movies and they're trying to watch a western and it falls through and hence the doctor takes Martha to an actual old west town. And I loved the description of this alien planet and the massive multi-screen cinemaplexes and interactive experiences of movie going in the future. So there's my review of Peacemaker by James Swallow. Let me know in the comments below if you've read this book or what you think of Doctor Who and Martha Jones. So peace out. I love you guys. I keep reading. Bye.